Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to start another brand new series on Karate UI automation. So recently I've been browsing through some of the open source automation tool which look very promising. So I found Karate to be really very promising tool and I thought let's come up with the tutorial series for complete UI automation and API automation using Karate open source tool. So Karate, if you just search for Karate UI automation or Karate API automation, you'll get this karate labs.github.io page and it's an open source tool so completely free so go to this page here and let's see some of the features of karate so if i go to this karate link here let's see what all karate tool is able to provide us okay now simple tagline of karate is that test automation made simple and they absolutely mean it that it makes this tool makes test automation really simple you do not need to be expert programmer or even you don't need to be very you need don't need to know any sort of syntax in terms of uh, java programming even though we'll be using java but then the way you write the test cases within karate is more of a bdd syntax it's not pure bdd syntax but th then uh not bdd syntax i would say gherkin syntax so it's kind of a gherkin uh, language which wherein you can use the behavior driven development um, uh, approach to define your feature file into sort of a english plain english language right so similarly karate uses a similar approach it is not pure gherkin syntax but it is in the form of given when then okay so it will be very similar if you're coming from the bdd background or have used uh, cucumber and gherkin then you will find it even more easier if you are absolutely new from manual testing background still you will be able to automate ui and api with karate tool so this is something by end of this series you will definitely be able to automate the applications using karate so let's go ahead and see what all they provide so basically the karate core is uh, the library which will provide you the web browser automation api test doubles the mocking ability right so they uh, you can do the uh, api mocking you can do the api testing and there are optional services and optional packages for desktop ad app automation i think they are working on that for ocr for uh, microsoft ui automation adapter then uh, performance testing is another very good one right so so many functionalities built into one tool so ui and api is absolutely fun to do with karate labs and we'll continue with that and then we'll explore more options for other areas that they claim good at okay now if you go down here you will see that it is only open source tool to combine api automation mocks performance testing and even ui automation into a single unified framework now i have been using in one of the uh, tool tosca from tricentis which is a paid tool it's a premium tool you have to pay for it and they provide unified support of the api automation and the ui automation when i found this open source tool karate i thought this is kind of tool that is available for free so why do we need to go ahead and pay for those premium tools so let's explore the capabilities of this tool in this complete series of of karate and learn test automation using karate okay so this series will be the ui automation which will cover all the basics along with the framework design and everything next series will be the api automation using karate along with the framework and advanced concepts okay now the next thing is uh, in in this line this the bdd syntax popularized by cucumber is language neutral so they do use bdd syntax uh, given when then format they have the assertion and html reports built in so uh, if you have seen my or watched my selenium with java series you would have noticed that we have to set up the report externally we have to get the libraries for reports you have we have to get the libraries for the assertion for the testing library test ng we have to uh, do a lot of configuration around the parallel running of the test cases right so all of this is kind of built in so you do not have to do any extra effort if you are using karate okay so let's see what all we can do so basically if you see here this is sample test how you will write test case in karate right so this is the um, 
this is the api test okay so this is basically you hit the url but then we'll be working with the ui test or uh, not the api okay so api is the second series the, the ui is what we'll be focusing now so if you are familiar with cucumber gherkin the big difference is that in cucumber and gherkin we used to write the glue code to convert our step definition to convert our feature file into step definitions right we don't even need that here as well so it's absolutely simple just follow this tutorial and in another two three tutorials you will be able to write your first test case with karate first ui test case okay so there are different options here basically you can see that we have this maven okay so what we'll be using is we won't be using standalone execute executable there is a standalone executable as well that you can use but then we'll be using java okay and we'll be using eclipse ide so what are the steps let me quickly go ahead before you can go ahead and set up the karate development environment for writing your test cases the first thing that you need on your machine is to install java and configure java path okay so what you need to have is so basically uh, i have created videos as part of the selenium series already how to install java and configure java path i'll be posting those before this tutorial in the series so you can watch those first and then come to this one okay so now installing java and configuring configuring java path once you will watch and configure java on your machine if you will say java hyphen version then you will be able to see java version available here in your machine okay the second is to install maven there is another video for installation of maven on your machine so i will post that video as well okay so if you say mvn hyphen version on the command prompt you should get the maven version that is installed on your machine now these are the old versions that have been installed so for you whatever video shows you need to go ahead and get the latest version right so the video has been recorded previously for installation of maven and java but that doesn't mean you have to exactly go and find the old version go ahead with the latest version because the prerequisite of a, a karate framework is that your java version should be 8 and above okay so latest version should do then installing the eclipse id now eclipse id is the integrated development environment which we'll be using to write our test cases okay so there is a video for eclipse id installation and configuration as well i'll be posting that so that will cover basically three steps all right now once you have these three prerequisites installed on your machine the next step is to create the maven project so launch the eclipse so so for example you will be having a clip something like that so i have copied the eclipse executable in c and eclipse folder you just simply have to double click on eclipse.exe which will launch eclipse id and here i have already created this karate ui folder but let me create another one okay so basically in eclipse java learning i'll go back so anywhere in your machine you can create the folder where you want to keep all your code okay so in the c drive i will create a new folder and i'll put all the karate code or karate automation code in there okay so i'll say karate automation select the folder and then simply launch so this is my workspace see karate automation where all my code that i'll write here in eclipse id will be stored okay so we are here we are launching after installing eclipse id you will be launching the eclipse right so that's what this step is now once we will once eclipse id comes up then we'll create the maven project right so maven helps is is a build in dependency uh it's a it, maven is a dependency management tool right so we will manage all our dependencies using maven okay and with in the maven tutorial i have explained what advantages of maven are so it will give you a clear picture why we need maven so eclipse id has has launched i'll close that and now we will simply go to the file okay to create the maven project right so fourth step is to create the maven project we'll simply go here and we'll say file and we'll say new and we'll select project okay so in the project now i have this maven option right so i'll simply expand this and i'll say maven project i'll go next and here i'll simply choose this create a simple project i'll skip the archetype selection all right and next and here you give the um, uh, group id so basically com dot rcv academy okay uh, the company name and the artifact id say for example it is the karate ui automation right so the project name 
and I'll simply finish and it should create the Karate UI automation project here. Okay, and it will be a Maven project. We just have to wait a little bit and you'll see all the structure has been created here. Okay, the Maven structure. Now, what is the next thing? In order to start writing your code and Karate can understand, we need to add the dependencies, right? So say for example, if you want to cook something in the kitchen, you want to cook some dish, you need to get the raw materials and ingredients before. Okay, so now if I say I have to write the Karate script, I need to have all the required material or dependencies. Okay, so the classes that that need there that can understand whatever I'm writing as the karate test cases that can be understood interpreted and then it can actually execute that test right so how we can configure that if we go to the karate website just in the start section go to the maven okay and this is the dependency that we have to start with okay so karate core artifact will cover everything okay but then karate j unit 5 will provide more improved version of the id experience okay so when you will add this karate hyphen j unit 5 it by default anyways has this karate core okay so simply copy this okay dependency and then in eclipse ide we'll open this form.xml and this maven because we have maven and maven is dependency management tool so any dependencies that we want to add in project rather than manually downloading and adding it into the project we simply can come here in the form.xml and simply add the tag here dependencies okay just add dependencies tag there and within dependencies we will simply add this dependency that we want to add which is karate hyphen j unit file save this file and then it will start building this project and when we say building you will see that maven dependencies has now appeared right so what it is doing at the moment is if you see in the left hand side here corner i think it has already built so it it will start building in the left hand side here where where my mouse is and it will start downloading all the dependencies right so you'll see karate j unit 5 core all of this has been downloaded automatically in, in the maven dependencies folder so manually we do not have to download each and everything all the jars that you see here and that's the beauty of dependency management tool like maven right so you do not have to basically worry about what all jars you have to download you just have to provide whatever key things you need to provide here so for example karate geo unit 5 if we'll need something else for for example better reporting we'll add another dependency for that particular type of reporting but as of now this should be good to go ahead and configure and write our test case okay so let me close this now uh, palm.xml and now what we need to do is now within if we go to this page here okay so if i go to the hello world okay or this is the api test let's see if we can find the ui test on the website okay so i'll say ui test so karate ui test okay and here karate ui framework okay so you will see that ui testing made simple so this is the karate ui example all right so now we can start writing our test case okay so how we can go ahead and start writing test case simply in the form of given when then right so the gherkin syntax it is not absolute gherkin syntax but it is very close to it it's it follows the path of given and when then etc right so here in src test java what we'll do is we'll create a new package all right and i'll say that's the source folder and just say dot ui test okay and just finish so karate ui automation dot ui test and let me create a new test there okay so to create a new test basically we simply have to write a feature file okay so we'll simply create a feed file and i will name it as a first test dot feature okay and finish it so now you will see this pop-up appeared it might not appear for you don't worry okay so we'll move to the next step so still we are kind of setting right so we have created the maven project fourth step is done now we need to install cucumber eclipse plugin why this plugin is required it is required so that whatever feature file we are writing right that can be dot feature file can be recognized as a because it, it will be a bdd sort of syntax right so gherkin language so 
it will help us to uh, help this instance to identify any of the feature file and we can execute using that um, uh, plugin okay so you can show id extensions okay or if you can cancel if you want to cancel you can cancel and go to help and go to eclipse marketplace if you don't see that pop up okay go to eclipse marketplace and here simply search for cucumber and hit enter and you will see cucumber eclipse plugin all right so we will simply click on install here so this plugin will get installed okay so here what you have to do is simply say accept the terms and click on finish you will see in the right hand side it's installing the software so once it's done you will see it has disappeared um, this progress bar will disappear basically this progress and it will install that plugin here and we will be able to run this feature file so until it installs that let's go back to the website here now in order to write our test case we have created the first feature file right so we will simply follow the syntax so for example we want to open google.com right so the only command that we need to give is given driver and then the url that we want to open all right so that's what is required basically in order to start the ui automation if we scroll a little bit more so there are so many options here we will learn each of these step by step but let's quickly go ahead and create our first test case once the installation is done still going on okay so this is a security warning we'll continue anyway right we know that this is a genuine plugin okay so once the installation will happen it will ask for restarting so we'll restart now okay so restart has happened let me close this and we are back now okay so and you will see that this first test dot feature you will see that cucumber icon is here okay and if i i will be getting an option as run as cucumber feature right so that's what this cucumber plugin that we have just installed will do for us okay so briefly let's see what all we have done we have basically i'll be posting the video to install java and configure java so do that install maven and configure it install eclipse id watch this video wherein we created the maven project we installed the cucumber plugin and dot feature file is now recognized as the cucumber pdd file and in the next tutorial we'll write our first karate ui test case so in just three four videos of configuration after that you will be able to write your first ui test case and that will be absolutely simple and easy so that's all for this, this tutorial i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you